Okay, so I have a simple example here. I just copied the button from the documentation. Um, so this is what we have. Now let's say we want to make this full width. So in Bootstrap 5, uh, BTN block does not work, right? So if I try this, it doesn't work. So it's been removed. So what you need to do is you need to set the width to 100%. You can do that with W100 and it will be the complete width, right? You can also set the display property to block. Um, it's not necessary here, but it could have certain other advantages. And alternatively, if you don't want to do this, you can also just use the grid system, actually. So if I reset here, you can also make it a row, right? In the row, we get 12 units to allocate, so we can have one column, right? And we can put the button here in the column, or however large you want it to be, right? So make sure that the parent element that you put the button in is this the width that you want, right? Because then if you use 100% width, it's gonna fill whatever the size of the parent element is, right? So this column right now, it takes up the complete width, right? So it's gonna be whatever size it is, right? If I set the call to six here, it's gonna be half the size. So if you're if, if this is not working for you, it's not the full width, well, check the parent element, make sure that the parent element is actually the full width, right? Because 100%, 100% of what? Well, in CSS, it's 100% of the parent element, right? So it's really important as a web developer that you have mastered CSS. I have a course on that. It takes a couple of hours, but you'll benefit it from the rest of your career because it's so common. You're going to interact with it all the time. So definitely check out the course. The link is in the description. Now, if you have a stack of buttons in the Bootstrap documentation, they will actually show you how to deal with that. So they use display grid and, you know, you can play around with that. Um, and make it responsive and things like that. So check it out. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.